<gasps> a giraffe. A giraffe. <laughs> okay. Don't scare it. I won't. <laughs> I'm back. I'm back, guys. Yes, I'm back. I took a week off. Okay. And I'm back. And I came back with a surprise. We are finally at 500. <laughs> 500 people decided that they were gonna subscribe. I, I was excited when I hit it. And I was like, okay, I must come back with this emotional speech to thank y'all. Because you guys really didn't have to do it. But I was like, I'm gonna come back with an emotional speech. And then I forgot. <laughs> I forgot I forgot that I hate 500 subscribers and I forgot to write a speech but it's okay because this video will be emotional enough because today we're gonna be watching the two last episodes the two last episodes of the last of us I saw a snippet of the last one where she was like in a jail cell and there was like blood all over her face and I was like yeah i'm i'm gonna go through it i'm gonna go through it anyways let's get straight into today's video a new heaven and a new earth where the first heaven and the first earth were passed away and i heard a great voice out of heaven saying who the hell is this when we are in need he shall provide okay so the episode's gonna be he's gonna play a big role because like they wouldn't do that if he wasn't ground is too cold to dig that looks suspicious <laughs> that looks suspicious when can we bury him watch y'all hiding did he turn uh, maybe he turned and he didn't want to tell her <laughs> sense doubt in there they haven't lost faith in you David they're just scared not from them still believe Oh, so he's a Christian. He's not a Christian! <laughs> Why would you build a town where you know livestock doesn't come in, like deer and all those stuff? That makes no sense. And why would you build a town in somewhere that cold? I don't know. I'm, I'm acting like I know <laughs> shit. I really don't. I'm acting like I would know the best place to build a town. I wouldn't know, but this doesn't seem like it. If I was to pick, this would not be my first pick, honestly. Joel is still sick. I want him to be Superman and get healed quickly. Like he's he's being human. He's being too much of a human right now and healing slowly. It isn't gonna work for me. <laughs> Yes, girl. <laughs> think. I don't see any way. You think we can just take it? No, that's Ellie's dinner. Boy, if you don't get. Don't! Drop your rifles! Now! Hey, you know what? This is good Ready? because this is gonna help. These people are probably gonna the right between your eyes. help Ellie. <laughs> Larger group, women, children, and we're all very, very hungry. Okay. I, I don't care. Okay. I don't. I, I really don't give a fuck. Well, even so, you can't drag this back on your own. We're not. <gasps> Who said that? When hunger hits, <laughs> you drag a freaking mountain. Okay. All right. Go. Talk to Howard. He's got a case with some penicillin. Bring back two bottles and a syringe. A code, James. Do as I said. Um, I don't like James. I don't like him. You know, you really shouldn't be out here all on your own. From where I'm sitting, you shouldn't be out here on your own. There it! Fair enough. I take care of the people who rely on me. Hmm. You're the leader? wasn't my choice. It was theirs, but 
Side eye. They chose to follow you. Is this some weird cult thing? Uh, exactly. I was just well, gonna say this. Got me there. Well, I found God. After the apocalypse, which is either the best time or the worst time to find him, hard to say. Hmm. Would it be the best or the worst? Hmm. I don't know. We didn't expect this winter to be so cruel. Nothing will grow. Game's been hard to find. So I sent four of our people to a nearby town to, to scavenge what they could. And only three of them came back. And the one that didn't was a father. He had a daughter just like you. And her dad was mm. taken from her. Mm. Turns out he was murdered by this crazy man. Get this. That crazy man was traveling with a little girl. Oh! <laughs> you see? Everything happens for a reason. Oh. James, lower the okay. gun. And here I thought they were here to help. <laughs> <laughs> Damn. I, I knew I medicine? didn't like James. Yeah, but throw it to her. And they got the deer. What is Joe? What are Joe and Ellie gonna eat? That's so annoying. Where the fuck do I put this? Not in the cot, not in the cot. Joe, get up. Get up, we need to keep moving. What is it? Deer? Medicine. For a whole town? Damn, y'all are struggling, struggling, huh? And those, those are still too big. Those are still, still too big. Those pieces need to be chopped. Finally. <laughs> y'all are serving a whole town and you have big chunks of meat. Cut those up smaller. Those people don't know how to live. I, I could, I could be the cook here. I would know how to ration things out. The biggest piece of me, the smallest piece for everyone else, it would work perfectly. Um. I'll lead a group out to pick up her trail. I know it. I knew we'll it, guys. Wherever they're hiding, and we'll bring that man to justice. You should kill him. You should kill both of them. Uh, and here I was feeling sorry for you that you are crying. Your father was a thief. That's what he was. Uh, oh wait, hold on now. Hold on. Excuse me. What? Why did he do that? That was really weird. Don't hold his hand. I know I was just cursing her out a minute ago. But what he did was really weird. I know you think you don't have a father anymore. <sighs> Here we go. But the truth is, Hannah, you will always have a father. Let me guess. It's you. you will show him respect when he's speaking. Boy, if you don't get... <laughs> I'm s I would say I'm speechless, but I saw this coming from a mile away. And no other person stood up for her? Wow. Some world we live in. Come on, Joe, get up. Get up, man. They're coming for us. They're literally coming for us. Uh, hopefully, through the night, the snow would have blown over Ellie's footsteps. Doubt it. That's always a signal for danger. I knew it. I don't mean to question your sense of mercy, David. We can let her go. We bring that girl back with us. She's just another mouth to feed. Don't question your daddy. Don't question. Because <laughs> that's exactly what he wants to be called. That's exactly what. Get up, you lazy bastard. Anybody makes it down here, you fucking kill them. You got it? Joe. Joe, do not fall asleep. Hey, motherfuckers! Shh, Ellie, don't shoot in the ear. Shoot. Uh, I don't know. I feel like she's always shooting in the air. What about at the target? Shoot one of them. What 
Well, you know what? Ooh, ah, yeah. Yeah. That's what I'm talking about. You're a dangerous person. You've certainly proven that. The others, they want me to kill you for all that's happened. Kill her or you will be killed, sir. Did and it's not an if, but or because. But I stopped them. Fuck you. <laughs> exactly. Why are you Why a hero? You start with your name. Eat shit. Hey, listen to me. That's her name. You can't survive on your own. No one can. That's her name. Her name is Eat you. Shit. You gotta face reality. That part of your life, it's ending. And what I'm offering you is a beginning. What are you offering? But if you can't find a way to trust me, then yes, you are alone. What are you offering? Let me hear it. To live with these hungry bitches? That's what you're offering? Because it would be a no. He's so annoying. But that food, that, that looks good. Eat up. <laughs> no. My bad, I'm sorry. Well, that, well in that case, don't eat up. That's what that man meant by Vincent. Wow. You call yourself a Christian? Oh my God. She's not a Christian! Who That's me to sick. Keep them safe, who love me? Yeah, maybe. You don't believe that. I don't know. I'm Would I rather starve either. or be a cannibal? Hmm. Be a cannibal. <laughs> Remind me of me. You're a natural leader. You're smart. Loyal. Violent. Okay. You don't know anything about me. But exactly. I, I was just going to say that. I'm a shepherd surrounded by sheep. And all I want is an equal, a friend. Well, not my friend. there's always a friend in God. So, you know. I can tell the others to stop looking for him. Okay, you go do that. They'll spare him. Really? Really? Or just let him go? Yes. Yeah. If he leaves wow. us in peace, they will just let him go. Wow. They do what I tell them to do. They, d they, they do? Of course they do. And they would follow us. Us? Lord knows I could use the help. Us? What there is that? no us. I wish they caught this. <laughs> the, they were attracted to pedophiles. Like something in their gene attracted the, the, the infected. That would have been the best thing. your ass anyway Ellie Ellie I know you're not infected no one infected fights this hard to stay alive how would you know how would you so, know you're such a dummy how did you do it kind of mad he's right what's dude, the secret still. or are you just that fucking special she's that fucking special you need a father so I'm gonna keep you and I'm gonna teach you. Teach me why. Ellie. Ellie. Oh, damn it. Oh, I thought you already knew. The fighting is the part I like the most. Ew! Don't be no. What a. No what? Oh, now. my God. Yes! This is gonna... This is gonna scar her for the rest of her life. No! Get off of me! 
That was so disgusting what he said. The fighting's the part that I like the most. How disgusting can you be? Wow. Oh my god. A part of her just died in there. I'm not I'm not kidding when I say this might be one of the darkest episodes. And this has, you know, a lot of dark episodes. This is a top two darkest episodes and just like that it's done how long was it? i felt like this was really short it was 50 minutes wow 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 that's uh, what are my thoughts what do i think i think he had every bit of it coming hopefully the rest get out before um the, the building burned down but still that guy oh he's so irked me and here i thought he was gonna be a hero wow and it's so weird because we have ellie taking on an adult role an adult position where she has to be the provider and the protector and <sighs> And, I, and in my mind, I was like, okay, Joel is going to come in and he's going to save the day. And it's going to be one big happy, you know, one big happy meetup. But it wasn't. It was really sad. And I know it's going to scar my girl Ellie. And I'm, I don't know. This episode made me uncomfortable. Well, well it should make me comfortable because this is the reality of the world this is what's out there even now so yeah okay we're gonna go straight into episode nine look for the light he came full circle with that one Tell me to look for the light and i'll break your jaw who is this is this ellie's mommy is this her mama oh my god this the you know people who go through birth alone or home birth or anything are strong individuals if i don't i don't think i want to have kids but if in the future i somehow lose my mind and decide that kids are <laughs> i think i need to be in a hospital sedating not even awake or aware of my surroundings because that pain period pain is too much for me imagine pregnancy pain that's that's crazy and she looks just like ellie she looks just like ellie that's how ellie was brought into this world wow that's crazy the chaos i knew she got beat up i saw that i was like she got beat oh is that what makes ellie immune because she was still kind of connected there so it has been in her blood i feel like that's what made ellie immune So that means Ellie mother isn't somehow magically out there. She's probably dead. It's not your fault. We it kind of is. And I blame Marlene for everything. She needs to be fed. And I, I didn't want to nurse her. I cut it before I was bit. No, she didn't. Before, take her with you to Boston. And that's literally, that is safe. that like the cure? <laughs> Putting a little bit in their system before they grow up? It would be like a vaccine of some sort. How long have we known each other? Come on, Marnie, stop being a little bitch and take her up. Quickly. Her up right now. <laughs> I already know the outcome, but still. Chef Boyardee. 
Oh, cool. Have you ever played this? Boggle? Oh, no. It's a word game. <laughs> if you want to beat me at something, it would be this. Wow, the shift is crazy. Oh, it's, right. it's, it's immediate, Getting isn't close. it? Usually, you know, she would be the one, you know, messing with Joel, you know, running a few jokes. Do we even speak about it? I think Joel should talk to her about it. I should, I think he should. I should, uh, I don't know. I don't know anything really. So this is what I'm thinking. Cut through that building to get around that stuff, find a skyscraper, go up and look around. Okay. This time I was thinking we'd blast our way through that rubble. I found some dynamite in that RV back there. Really? No, oh, so we're gonna cut through that building, find a skyscraper, go up and look around. I had you going, didn't I? Come on! Had he said it any other time, she would have died laughing. I'm sorry, but I just imagined her stepping on his face as leverage. Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> <gasps> a giraffe. A giraffe. <laughs> okay. Don't scare it. I won't. <laughs> It's a giraffe. I don't know. I would, I would try to ride it. No, no, I wouldn't. I don't know why, but I keep forgetting I'm afraid of heights. I would not try to ride a giraffe. No, I wouldn't. <laughs> Nothing bad out there, but so far there's always been something bad out there. We're still here, though. We're still here, but at what cost? What do you mean? What else are we supposed to do? Nothing. We just go back to Tommy's. We forget about the whole damn thing. Can't be for nothing. I know you mean well. I know you want to protect me. You have. And when we're done, we'll go wherever you want. But there's no halfway with this. We finish what we started. That's how you know you raised a good girl. Oh my god, it's so good to see Joel's heart soften. Wow. So what was wrong with you? It's for this. Ah, the guy who shot and missed. It was me. I was the guy who shot and missed. Wow. No story. Sarah died. And I couldn't see the point anymore. Simple as that. I wasn't scared either. I was ready. I mean, yeah. I couldn't have been more ready. Like sometimes when you're going through what you're going through, death yeah. seems just like a secure blanket. But it's not, guys. It's not. <laughs> Listen to my words and follow my orders don't do it i'm so glad we're talking about this because i at some point could relate to this so time heals all wounds i guess mm. Mm. it wasn't time that did it talking about their feelings they're talking about their feelings and i'm gonna get in my feelings because they're talking going. about yep. their feelings i'll give it a five what the five fuck out of ten. <laughs> no hi hello what are you doing here immediately bomb bomb them you got hit pretty hard damn marlene you couldn't have stopped them you see he's old already you guys want to send him to an early grave you are the one person i never wanted to be in debt to but i owe you we all owe you just take me to her i can't She's being prepped for surgery. How quickly? Sure. Yo, don't waste any God. time, huh? He thinks that the cordyceps in Ellie has grown with her since birth. Why is she in surgery? It produces a kind of chemical messenger. It makes normal cordyceps think that she's cordyceps. It's why she's immune. He's going to remove it from her, multiply the cells in a lab, produce those chemical messengers. And then I can give it to everyone. He thinks it could be a cure, Joel. Sub's grows inside the brain. It does. They're cutting her That's head weird. open. Tell her we can cause her any fear. There no. won't be any pain. No, you take me to her. You take me to her right now. 
Mm. Oh my god. Mm. I didn't know Marlene was an op. Y'all are gonna cut her head open. You, you don't understand. I'm the only one who understands. <sighs> Biggest arrow to that. Obviously, Joel is gonna try and rescue her. She's gonna try and rescue her. Jed, keep walking. There he is. Where is she? You know what? You took that like a champ. You oh took that like goodness. a champ. Isn't this hospital loaded with Fredra people? My God, please don't tell me they already started cutting into her head. Unhook her. How did you get in here? Unhook her. Stay forever. Oh, uh, shut the hell up, Marlene. No matter how hard you try, no matter how many people you kill, she's gonna grow up, Joel. Okay. And then you'll die, or she'll leave. Then what? How long till she's torn apart by infected or murdered by raiders? Because she lives in a broken world that you could have saved. Mm. Maybe. But it isn't for you to decide. Or you. We're running some tests on you. And some others. Turns out there's a whole lot more like you. No, Joel. No, Doesn't don't it. lie. I don't think he's going the about this the right way. Any of it work? He shot. Well, okay. Okay, they whatever. Stop looking for a cure. I don't feel like Ellie knows he's lying. It's smiling, okay. <laughs> She's just fine, sweetie. I don't think she believed him. I don't think he should have lied. I think he should have told her the truth. You know what? And he's right. Let Marlene was right about one thing. Let Ellie decide what well, she wants to enough. do. And the thing about this too is yeah. that Ellie has been basing yeah. this, the, be her being immune and her being the cure. I think I'm that's what kind of gave like her time. meaning. So it being wiped away like this, I don't think Joel is doing Wouldn't the right thing favorite, here. But, well, she was a lot more, I want to say girly, and I'm not saying that you're not girly. <laughs> Back in Kansas City, you asked me about the first time I killed someone. Oh, she's gonna tell. She's gonna tell, tell. When I got bit in the mall, I wasn't on my own. My best friend was there, and she got bit too. We didn't know what to do, and she says, we can just wait it out. Be poetic and can just lose our minds together. And then she did. And, and I had to. Yeah. Her name was Riley. And she was the first to die. And then it was Tess. And then Sam. That's not on you. I know. It... Look, sometimes things don't work out the way we hope. I you knew it would have been want. a problem for Ellie. I knew it. But if you just keep going. Because this is what she wants. She wants to be the cure. And maybe that's I not what you want. Swear to me. Swear to you what? Swear to me that everything you said about the fireflies is true. Damn it, I knew it. I knew it. I swear. No, and he continues to lie. This is gonna be a big problem. And in her gut, in her gut, she knows he's lying. She knows it. Okay. Yeah, she does not believe him. <gasps> and that's how it ends. Wow. Yeah. Hmm. Wait, is uh, is that episode coming out next week Sunday? <laughs> Cause this cannot be it. This cannot be it. I don't like what Joel did in the end. I mean, like that. I'm not like he lied. Okay, so I'm gonna mainly focus my conclusion on my thoughts on the fact that it with. The relationship between Elliot and Joel. Right now, it's it's gonna be very weird going into season two, mainly because of two factors: what happened to Ellie in season eight, and the fact that Joel is lying to her. I don't think he should have been lying to her. I think he should have told her the truth. But I I think he knows deep down in her his heart's apart that Ellie would have wanted to be experimented on. That's that's that. Ever since they have met, that's basically what she wanted. That's 
that's basically what she dreamt of to be experimented on to be the cure and to help others you could see in the end that she was actually pretty disappointed when he, you know joel spawned the light that she there were others like her and she's not the cure and whatever you could see that she's really disappointed and i'm kind of mad that he lied to her i don't like that i hate liars this is gonna cause a big problem this is gonna be a big problem so if you guys remember to like share and subscribe and i guess i don't know but i guess i'll see you in the next one bye hmm?